Hi guys, my name is Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. <music> So for today's video, I am going to be doing my followers control my day for 24 hours. So I put a number of polls all on my Instagram story, all asking all my followers on Instagram what I should do, how I should do my makeup, my hair, my coffee I'm going to have, what I should train in the gym, all stuff like that. And throughout the day, you guys have been voting all on my Instagram. So we are now halfway through the day because I was not filming an intro this morning just before I went to the gym because it was just not a good look whatsoever so this is the intro for the video so now i'll take you back to this morning when i woke up to go to the gym good morning from me and my very tanned face i used some tanning drops yesterday before i went to bed and it's kind of clumped around my nose but we move so last night i put two polls on my story for this morning one was what should i have for breakfast and one was what should i do at the gym so the poll for my breakfast was should I have cereal or a smoothie and you voted cereal thank god because I'm starving this morning so I'll go downstairs and have my cereal and then the other one was what should I train at the gym just cardio or arms and cardio and you guys voted arms and cardio which I'm always very happy about because I've not trained arms properly this week yet so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat my breakfast so I give you a little gym OOTD Gymshark, Gymshark, Nike and Nike I love this jumper because of the colour. It's a really nice jumper. I also love these leggings and excuse the mess. Elite. Elite. I'm not actually going to eat too much this morning because I'm doing cardio and arms and I'm probably going to run and I'm literally going to leave for the gym straight after this. I haven't got that much. I think I forgot to say, the poll as of this morning was 57.43 to cereal. And thank the Lord, because I actually love cereal. I can eat it all the time. So, and I haven't had a smoothie in ages. So that would have also been cool, but thank you for letting me have cereal, darlings. So I've just pulled up to the gym. Now, obviously it's Saturday morning, so it's gonna be very busy. So whether I will actually get to film anything in the gym, you have to wait and see. See if I actually have the bottle too. However, um, on my poll, it was voted to do cardio and arms. And that at current is 67 to 33. So you will definitely want me to do cardio and arms. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like 40 minutes cardio and then the rest arms. I'm usually at the gym for about an hour and 15 minutes. So I can't decide whether I'm going to run or whether I'm going to do, what is it? Is it called 3, 12, 30, where you go on the treadmill on incline for 30 minutes? I can't decide yet. I'll decide when I get in there. And then I'm probably going to step for 10 minutes. I don't usually bring AirPods because I, I don't know. I don't really like listening to music that much, but uh, I've got them this time. I borrowed my dad's AirPods and I've actually just flipped them up and they've only got 20%. So hopefully that will last me 40 minutes because I'll only do it whilst I'm doing cardio. So I'm gonna stick in my AirPods and go do some cardio and some arms and I'll hopefully be able to record some. We'll see. From the gym I've just had a shower and had some crisps health is wealth and I'm just about to start to get ready to go to Birmingham so I've got my trusty iPad with me as per and I'm going to check the poll <sighs> and I knew this would happen so everyone knows that I'm not a soft glam kind of gal and of course you've all voted for me to do soft glam slash natural so i'm just about to get ready so i will start my soft glam slash natural and my hair everyone has said wavy not straight so 
I'm going to start to get ready. Um, I don't think I'm going to talk you through what I am going to do because I think it would just take quite a long time. But I've actually got a new um, foundation Prevolution that I've never used before. Now, my skin is naturally quite oily, so I'm going to moisturise, but then I'm going to do a mattifying primer because otherwise my skin will be a mess by the end of this video and also if you're thinking that i'm not wearing a lash you are wrong i will be still wearing a lash don't even get it twisted but i'd be wearing this really small lash bear with let me just here we go this really small lash it's i think it's the style london and they sell them in primark i will be still wearing a lash because i obviously have issues with picking off my mascara i will see you once my makeup is done and then I will speak to you again just before I start doing my hair just to make sure that it is still wavy and not straight. Should I try and do a transition? Should I do a click? Or should I do a... So I will see you when my makeup is done. This is my attempt at natural glam. And it is an attempt. And it is a lot less full coverage than usual. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but it's a lot more glowy, like you can see the glow. And my eyelashes aren't as big as usual. I've carved out my eyebrows, but like not loads. I haven't filled my eyebrows in. I've just set them with the dye on. Let me take you into more natural light. So, oh God, my room is a mess. So it is more soft, like my contour isn't as harsh. I've brought the blush up my cheek. Look, this is as soft glam as it's going to get because I struggle at soft glam. I really do. Especially because I wear eyelashes because I always pick off my mascara. I'm used to full coverage, but this foundation that I got from Revolution, I think it was like a medium coverage glowy foundation, but it was actually a tinted moisturiser. So I haven't put as much concealer on. So we have tried. We have tried and I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure I like how the foundation looks on my face. I feel like you can see a bit more texture than usual. But that's because it's not full coverage. But oh, I just nearly fell. I'm now just going to check if the pole is still for wavy hair, which this has literally been in this bun since the gym. So it's going to be horrendous. I actually might have to straighten it before I wave it. But let's see, 76% want wavy hair. Trusty Molly May Volume Curl Kit Volume 2. It doesn't actually say, but I know it is. It's the Volume 2. Um, and I will wave my hair. I tend to put it on quite high because my hair is a nightmare when it comes to waving. But let's see what we have to work with, shall we? nice it's definitely going to be straightening before we wave it i will be back when my hair is all waved and then i'm going to check what you guys have chose for me to wear so the hair is waved now really funny watch the, how, what this will look like at the end of the day obviously got one my fringe in a roller to give myself a bit more volume but by the end of the day it's just not going to look like this at all but it's what you guys ask and it's what you guys are getting. The last one before I leave to go to Birmingham is what I should wear. So the options were street style or glam, but a bit casual. So street style was like leggings, gilet, jumpers, leather jeans, oversized t-shirts and trainers and clamp, clam. And glam, but casual was jumper dresses, boots, jeans, blazers, leather lit jeans, etc. And glam but casual one, um, and that's fifty five percent to forty five percent. So I'm now going to have to have a look in my wardrobe because I haven't planned for either. So I literally have no clue what I'm going to wear. But I've got like half an hour until I have to leave, so at least I have time to make a decision. I'm also going to upload my next two stories now as well because there's a couple of things that you guys will be choosing when I get to the ball ring. But I will show you guys what I wear when I've made my decision. We are going for glam, but a bit casual. This is the final makeup and hair look. Now my rollers are out. As I've said, it probably isn't going to stay like this for the rest of the day. But also let me show you the outfit I've decided to wear. Here is the outfit that I am wearing today. So it's sort of like, 
I would say this is casual but glam, if you ask me. I think the trench coat makes it more glam. Um, and so does sort of the white and the blue because I think that's really a big fat vibe. So just to talk you through, my jeans are from Pretty Little Thing. My shoes are my Balenciaga Triple S's. This top is from Sheen. This trench coat is from Lily Lulu Fashion. And then I've got my YSL bag with me too. I would definitely say this is casual but glam glam but casual however you want to go i think um i didn't go for boots in the end because i don't really think boots i'm not good with styling boots with jeans like this i am just about to drive to pick up my friend to then drive to birmingham and then once we get there there's a couple of things you guys are choosing for me there too so i'm really excited and i'll see you when i'm in birmingham why is getting to birmingham always such a traumatic experience <laughs> Like I actually, at one point, was going to turn around and come back home. On a level, I was going to turn around and come back home. We're just about to go to Starbucks for the fourth poll, fifth poll of the day. Oh, but there's a massive queue. I don't know if you're here at this point, but change of plan. We are now going to Soho Coffee rather than Starbucks because the queue is so big. Look how busy it is right now. At this point, I don't even care what drink it is. I just need a fucking drink. Honestly, guys, to say I'm triggered right now is an actual understatement. It's just taken us an hour and a half to get to Birmingham because there was the road closures. It didn't take me to the normal car park. It was actual hell. However, I'm now sat having a coffee, which is the only thing that I've actually had since breakfast this morning, and it's three o'clock, which is brilliant. So um, I put up the poll whether I should get hot coffee or cold coffee, like ice or frappe, and everyone voted for an iced coffee. Either it's currently raining and windy outside, but I could have been done a little bit dirty there. So we're in Soho Coffee and I've just got an iced caramel latte, decaf coffee with oat milk, and I've also got a big fat lemon cake, because I'm really hungry, even though we're literally gonna have dinner in like two hours. This is very well needed and it's very yummy. By the way, I'm with Nikki. I don't think I've shown you that I'm with Nikki. Um, I literally came to Birmingham, right? To look at some stuff in Selfridges for my 21st because there's a couple of things that I want that I haven't either seen in a while or not seen ever in real life. And two out of four of the things they didn't have in stock. I literally feel like crying at this point. <laughs> and also one of the things that I wanted, the guy said to me like, oh, um, no, it's really small. We won't even be able to put your phone in it. He was like, I don't know. And I was like, right, are you currently trying to like make me not want to spend my money at this your place? Is, this is like, this... It's like not upselling, it's like down selling. Yeah. Down selling some like a product. That's not fun. I've just checked my um, poll about I'm out shopping. Should I treat myself to something? Um, and at the moment, all it's looking like being is Victoria's Secret body spray. So I might go buy myself Victoria's Secret body spray because you've all told me to treat myself. Treat yourself. <laughs> and that's clearly as far as I can go at the moment without actually wanting to cry. So we'll go into Victoria's Secrets, buy the body spray, then check the poll about dinner because I'm literally starving even though I didn't think I would be. And do some, a little bit more shopping. We haven't actually been here for that long, but I feel like it's gonna be a quick snappy trip because of how triggered, traumatic. yes. <laughs> how traumatic and how triggered I am about this whole trip. I know it's not the result you all wanted, but I have treated myself to a more Philip liner. That counts, that is treating myself. I didn't set a budget, you didn't set a budget. So more Philip liner will do. We're not actually going in purely because I actually think if I go in there, it would be my 13th reason because of how busy it would be. But I've never actually deep. Look how big that place is, man. Oh my days. <laughs> so we've decided to come for dinner in Pizza Express and I'm, I put my poll on my story and it was pizza or pasta. I put it on like an hour, an hour and a half ago, I think. And it's currently 68 and pasta which is exactly what i wanted i was really feeling pasta i feel like i haven't had pasta out in ages so i'm very happy i'm gonna have pasta and i might have a side of garlic bread so then i'm doing both but the main will be pasta and i'm really excited so thank you guys for choosing that you've made my day the day that's literally been a nightmare now finally feels like it's on the way there so our dinner has just arrived and it looks absolutely unbelievable. Although we ordered a garlic, like mozzarella starter thing to come with our mains. Look at this, this is really funny. 
I was not expecting it to be that small. Is that actually? <laughs> but this is what I've got. What did I get? The polo pesto, and you got the Calalone. Absolutely lovely. It looks to die for. I'm gonna scran it, mate. Hello my loves, it's Charlotte from the future. I'm currently editing this video and realised that I just decided not to end it whatsoever. Plans actually changed and I managed to go into town in the evening. I didn't drink, I drove, but I just went there for a couple of hours. So therefore, literally did not finish this video at all. Didn't even think about it, out of sight, out of mind. Absolutely piss poor from me. However, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed you planning my day for me. I thought it was really funny. Um, so yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!